Hello and welcome back to Jolly Jilly's Crafts. We are going to be doing a super, super fun craft today. Um, my name is Jillian of Jolly Jilly's Crafts. I upload videos every single Tuesday. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become part of the Jolly Jilly family. And click on a like if you like this video. Um, we're going to be doing a really fun craft today. Um, I've always seen like these faux windows and I've always wanted to make one. So what we're going to need is four frames. As I live in a small place, I can only do decor on a smaller kind of frame. So what I'm using for this one is a four by four, four by six frames. These I got from Dollarama because Dollar Tree was really far away and I didn't want to go out too much because of the, you know, the pandemic. I just kind of want to get in and out. So I got these four frames. They kind of have a wooden look to them. So what we're going to do is we're just going to open it up. Now, we are going to be painting the frame white, but in order, in order to do that, you'll notice this is really shiny, right? And if you try and paint on top of shiny, it's not going to work. So what we're going to do first is we're going to, over there. we're going to go ahead and we're going to take everything out of the frame. So the glass and everything. The glass and the backing and all that fun good stuff and in fact we're not keeping the glass and we're not keeping the backing um, and so everything so we're just gonna put that aside and additionally what you're gonna want to do is you're wanna gonna take wanna gonna no going to want to take <laughs> um, these are wire cutters and I just want to go ahead and pull these you see these little tabby things that keep the the frames in place we're gonna pull those out because we don't want them okay so just take your wire cutters and they're really easy to come out and you just pull them and they come out very very easily and you throw them out so you do that with all four of these and you're gonna want to paint uh, pardon me not paint you're gonna want to sand um, the entire inside of the frame the only thing you don't have to sand is the back of the frame because we're not going to worry about that because it's the back. Okay. And I have on this little um, apron today because I don't want to ruin my clothes with the paint. Okay. So, oh, that's not. That's okay. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to sand it. Sand it down. Okay. So just take any kind of sandpaper and sand down the entire frame. What I'll do is just, so you want it showing like that. Um, see, we're sanding it. So what I'll do is I'm gonna pause the video and then I'll come back to you when it's sanded and then we'll paint. So now you can see this has been sanded. Make sure you sand the insides and even the inside back because when you want to see a window, you want it all to be white and the outsides as well. So inside, outside, top. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some chalk paint and we're gonna paint, okay? So this I got from Michael's, I guess. This is called Color Porcelain and it is chalk paint. Um, I got it from Michael's a while back and in fact, when I opened it yesterday, it seemed to be dried up. However, I was like, this paint is expensive and so I am not gonna let all the dry paint boil my plants. So I just put some water in it and I revived it. Um, so luckily that worked. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to paint. I want to give two coats. Okay. To the inside, the outside. Let me see here. All right. Here we go. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint the insides. And there we go. Okay, so what I'll do is I will pause the video. So we're gonna paint it. I'm gonna pause the video and when I'm when I come back, I'll have all four frames painted and we'll start to do the assembly. 
Okay, so now, uh, welcome back. Mm -hmm. um, I have four painted frames. So they were once black, you can tell in the back, I didn't paint it that well in the back. Um, four painted frames. So essentially what's gonna happen is we're going to be putting the frames together and making a window. See, little window, so cute, right? I've wanted to do this craft for so long, but I just never took the time to do it. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. Okay, so how we're gonna put these together is hot glue and E6000 because I want it to be a really good hold. Um, so basically, um, take your frames and see how they fit together the best. So these two go together nicely, these two go together nicely, and this one. So what you're gonna do, uh, let's see here, there's something underneath there. There, so I would recommend first putting the tops together and then gluing them side by side. So let me take my E6000 out of here. Um, and the reason I'm using hot glue and E6000 is um, the E6000 is more of a permanent hold, whereas the, um, the glue gun is kind of a quick, let's get it done now hold. Um, so what you're gonna do, quick tip, when using E6000 and hot glue together, do not put the hot glue on top of the E6000 or vice versa because they cancel each other out. So we're just gonna use a little bit of here. We'll just do like little lines. So there, like that. E6000. Okay, oof. There. A little bit here. And a little bit here. Good, okay. Uh, and then we're just gonna take hot glue. A bit on the end there. Kind of in the middle and here we go okay so you have to do it quickly because hot glue bonds almost instantly and you want it to look good so then you press it together in the middle like that hold it till it sets up give it a few good couple seconds here there we go okay that's good now once we put the frame together, we are also going to put some popsicle sticks on the back to make sure that the hold is even stronger. So we're taking our E6000 again. We're just going to put it on like this, a little bit here. I have a funny glue. A little bit here. And a little bit here. It smells like um, rubber cement is what it smells like. But it doesn't dry very quickly. Whereas the hot glue dries very quickly. Okay, so we're gonna put some on the end. A little there, a little there, a little there, and a little on the end. Okay, so now again, make sure I have a flat surface to work with here. And glue it together. Nice tight hold, there we go. Okay, now is the tricky part because we want this frame to be together nicely here like this. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over and start putting E6000 and then I'll put hot glue again. And then we'll stick the frame together and we will reinforce it on the back with popsicle sticks and hot glue. Okay, because we want this to, you know, stick together because we want it to be a nice little thing that we can move from place to place, right? And we're gonna do something fun. I made this little wreath and I'll show you how I did it. Um, let's see. And we're gonna hang it and it's gonna look super, super cute. There you go. And one more piece of E6000. Right there, okay. Okay, so we're gonna use a glue gun again. Glue, 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 and a little bit on the end. Now with hot glue, you do have to work a little bit quickly. So let me see. Okay, I think that is perfect. Okay, perfect, perfect. Exactly how I wanted it. I'm gonna hold it up. Let that bad boy set up for a second. There we go. Okay. Now I'm gonna flip it over, holding all four centers because it's kind of a heavy frame. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the popsicle sticks and I'm going to glue them 
Okay, you can see how there's the seams, right? So you see the seams here. So what I want to do is I want to glue popsicle sticks. So let's see how many it would require on all of the seams. Two, three, and let's see if this one will fit. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, there we go. All right. And that will just give it a little bit of extra stability because you really don't want this falling apart. So I'll just put a little glue on the glue stick. And flip it over. Now remember this is hot glue, so you have to be very careful when you're using it with your hands. Oof, like that you don't want to burn yourself. Okay, glue that down. Perfect. Okay, good. Um, and I would rather put the hot glue on the popsicle sticks than the frame because I just don't want glue seeping through, you know? So let's see. How is a good way of doing this? Hot glue, hot glue, hot glue, hot glue, hot glue, hot glue. All right, so we're gonna flip it over, put it down, try not to burn our fingers in the process. Okay. it into the seams like I said this is just gonna offer some stability to it because we want it to last we don't want it falling apart on us right we don't make crafts to fall apart we make crafts to enjoy them Oops. that is hot glue wowza okay okay there we go put it down oof that does not feel nice <laughs> okay one more and then i'm going to show you the most funnest thing that i made to go on the front of this um let's see and i'll tell you how i made it it's super super easy there we go let me just make sure it's kind of in the middle there good okay so the back is reinforced now we have our window and it sits up like that Okay, so what I wanted to do, because I'm always extra, as anyone who ever watches my show or knows me in real life knows, I made this cute little, this cute little guy that I want to sit right about here, okay? So it's gonna sit in the middle of the frame. And basically what I did is I had a Kleenex box, so I knew I wanted a frame to be about this size because that would fit in the middle of the frame. So what I did is I took a Kleenex box. So you can see the Kleenex box back here and I cut a circle and then, I fortunately had this greenery at home and so I just made it into a circle. So super, super easy. And then I'm gonna, let me see, and I'm just gonna hot glue it to the back, um, not the front. So I'm gonna see how I want it to hang right there. I think that's, uh, do I want it there or a little bit higher maybe? Right about there, yeah, I think that works. And I just chose to use um, this ribbon that I had on hand um, I thought it was a nice color. I liked it. I thought it was kind of like, I don't know, cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue gun this on the back here of this popsicle stick. Putting enough glue to make sure that it sticks. There we go. Okay. But I don't want to glue it to the front because I don't want the paint to come off the front. So just kind of set it up. Um, and in putting it on the popsicle stick, if if I want to change it, so like at Christmas time, if I want to make it a different wreath, I can just take it right off because it's on top of the popsicle stick. So there we go. There's our little craft of the day. Craft du jour, as they say. Just get rid of there. And I think, okay. Let me see. Well, I'm pretty pleased with it kind of exactly how I wanted it to look. So perfecto. So I'm just gonna leave that right here. Boop, boop, boop. All right, boys and girls. <laughs> Thank you for 
spending time with me today. I know it is a little bit hard now because we are going through this whole pandemic situation and we're in our homes. I hope this provided you a little bit of entertainment. Um, I hope you guys are keeping safe and staying home. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you next Tuesday.